Hey everybody, I want to do a real quick snippet today on my doctrinal positions because I'm involved with a lot of chaplains and, and pastors and minister groups that use Bible doctrine as a way to express their views. Uh, I try to abide in Christ and, and walk in the Spirit as the Lord gives me words to say and shows me things in the scriptures and, and within my life. Um, to glorify him for his purposes and of course it's always be scriptural but um, doctrinally I want to say that I am reformed I do believe in tulip you know John Calvin's uh, teachings uh, however I also think that once you come to salvation you must abide in Christ in order uh, to walk with him and to be one of his in other words i think you can rebel unto your own spiritual death if you so choose so it's very important to abide in christ to make him the lord and master of our lives rather than loving the world or finding comfort in the world in order to be comfortable and walking away from uh, our eternal security um, I think that uh, children of the Lord are elect before the foundations of the earth and no one can snatch them out of the Father's hands. However, we are not in bondage uh, to the Lord God of Israel. We have to choose to abide and walk in Him once we come to the point of salvation. Otherwise, we do that at our own spiritual peril. Um, and... Um, and letting our hearts grow hard to Christ. So I don't know how much sense this is going to make to a lot of uh, well-studied theologians, but I wanted to, uh, like I said, make this little snippet today and clarifying um, how I feel about walking, abiding, and being in Christ. And as you know, um, I was dead shortly, and the Lord was there with me, uh, but um, I prayed that he would show me greater truths, and that was not to be the end of my life, and he indeed has shown me greater truth, but we must abide in Christ once we come to him. It's our choice. Rather than taking the broad road that Jesus talks about leads to destruction, this is why it says many will come to me in that day saying, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy? Didn't we do healings? Didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we do all these wonderful works in your name? And Jesus says, I never knew you. Because we must continue to abide in the Lord Jesus Christ once we come to that uh, personal salvation that God has uh, preordained for, for us before the foundations of the earth. God bless you all. Bye.